Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how I can create a dictionary using Python. So we're going to use the PyDictionary pre-written package and Kinter to create our GUI. So first of all, let's install PyDictionary because Kinter comes pre-installed. So we don't need to install that. So just write pip install. Okay, so now I have already installed this package. So let me give you a brief introduction of what this package are. PyDictionary is the package of Python, which not only gives you the meaning of a specific word, but it can also give you the translation synonyms and antonyms of a selected word. But in this video, we are gonna cover only the meaning. If you want to know more, then you can go the PyPy of uh, PyDictionary and just know that how it works. I'll provide the link below. So with this being said, let's get to our editor and start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. Now there are two parts of this project. First is the GUI and second is our actual translation work. So first of all, let's create our GUI. So the package is obviously Kinter because that's my favorite pack package for creating GUI. From Kinter import all or import star. And we'll create a variable to uh, create our Kinter window. Then we'll define the geometry or the size of our Kinter window. This, these instructions are for those who are new to my channel and haven't watched the other videos where I have created Kinter GUI because I have worked like a lot of projects where, uh, in which I have created the Kinter GUI. So, so the subscribers which have followed me from the beginning, they know all these commands. So we'll create two elements. First is the button and second is an entry widget. So let's create our entry widget first. Let's write an ready because we can't name it as entry. Actually we can, but uh, let this be. So this is an entry. It's under this uh, root variable and let's define that what will be the font font is times new roman and the size of our text is 15 you can just play along with these values and i always define it to be bold now we are gonna grid our entry um, widget uh, let's grid this in the row let's say second and column also second okay now let's create a button so let's write btn uh, make sure that this b and this e are capital python is case sensitive okay so root and the text which will be displayed on our uh, button is let's say uh, find meaning okay and the command that this uh, button will initiate is let's say find meaning so whenever we press this button btn button then this function will be called so generate meaning okay now let's uh, grid our btn button uh, this will be gridded at the row second and at the column actually at the row fourth because at the row second we are having our uh, entry widget and at the column second and there should be a comma here now let's close have a main loop 
okay let's save this and see okay so we are having an error let's see what that error is no error this is something that i have tried before okay so we are having no error let's run this and see whether it's working perfectly or not and this is invalid syntax because there should be a comma here okay find meaning is dot is not defined because we haven't created that function yet so let's create that function find meaning there is no parameter and just to check our ui we'll simply print something okay let's run this and again i guess the column spelling is wrong yes now these things happens with me a lot okay so there it is uh, it's working and if we write something let's say hello there you can see uh, times new roman of the 15 size and it's old and this button is doing nothing because we haven't done anything in our find meaning function this is the function in which all the uh, finding of the meaning will be done finding the meaning of the word task will be done so let's close this and let's get to our second part where we'll use our pi dictionary package to find out uh, that what is the meaning of a specific word so first of all let's import our pi dictionary package so we'll write pi dictionary make sure that this p and this d is capital and import pi dictionary so from pi dictionary we have to import pi dictionary and then let's get inside our function let's let me create some space here so first of all what we'll do is we'll get the input from our entry widget and store this into a variable so we'll write uh, entry dot get so here we are extracting whatever the value is present in our entry widget and then storing it into a variable and then what we will do is we'll create a dictionary um, variable and this will be a pi dictionary uh, object pi dictionary object of this word then we'll create a variable uh, meaning and this is where all the magic is gonna happen and we'll call this uh, dictionary variable and then we'll write the command print meaning print meaning and this is it this is what you have to do now let now just to see that everything is perfect fine or not let's uh, just print out this so okay let me write hello and we are having an error it's not having any attribute as print meaning because there should be print meanings okay my programs can never run in the f on the first go let's run this again and my editor just hanged i guess no okay so let's write hello and it's working and there you can see uh, it's writing noun an expression of greeting so what the backend is actually doing now just to see that what is the type now just to understand the type of this meaning or what is happening in the back end back end sorry uh, let's see that what is the type of this meaning uh, meaning so let's 
run this hello and there you can see it's of the class none type and actually this is the JSON uh, response because we are using request to um, extract the meaning now if you go to the PyPy of this Py dictionary there you can see the module used is request beautiful soup so what uh, so what is happening in the backend is it's using the request and beautiful soup to scrap the meaning of that specific word so the output here is present in JSON format so I got one assignment for you and this is actually the thing I am not able to do so just like the teachers of a education system I am giving you the assignment that you have to print this output into a GUI now there are three possible ways that you can do actually three possible ways I know how to uh, print this into a GUI first what you can do is you can create a label and then edit the label inside this function just create a label here and then just edit the function inside the label I have used this technique when I was creating the uh, digital clock so you can uh, just see that how it works the second thing what you can do is you can create another Kinter uh, window and then just display this and just uh, define the time after which that window will automatically destroy I have used this concept when I was working on I guess uh, the personal assistant app the Choti Siri uh, which I have named so you can use that concept also and the third concept is to use the show info or the message uh, class of the Kinter library. I have used this when I was using uh, when I was working on the tick TikTok to game. So you can take the reference from there. So there are three possible ways you can display the output into your GUI. And I was not able to do this because. Uh, this is a JSON format and uh, and I was not able to extract the uh, exact meaning so this is the uh, assignment for you and if you get the answer just comment down below and the winner will get a shout out in my next video so this is your sort of a reward okay so this is it for this video and I hope you like it and I'll meet you in my next video. Bye-bye.